If you're experiencing knee pain, then this is a talk that, that you need to listen to. We're gonna be talking about all the different causes of knee pain and how we kind of address some of those things. So when someone comes in with knee pain, I'm not really sure what I did. You know, we have to ask a lot of different questions. Uh, and one of the big things that we're looking at is, is, you know, is there a lot of knee stiffness? And if we're noticing a lot of knee stiffness, um, joint stiffness, we've got to look at the mobility first. Like that's always our first phase of treatment when, at our office when we're looking at it. And what does that mean? How does the joint move? But not just the, the knee joint. We've got to see how the ankle joint is moving. We need to see how the hip joint is moving. We need to see how the back joint is moving. These are all different causes that can create knee pain. When we look at the ankle joint, you know, we have to have mobility through here, but there's bones that go on each side of here that come up, up into the knee. And that is what we call like the tip and the fib. And they actually move. And if you don't have a lot of movement there or something's happening there, you're gonna feel it in your knee. And so same thing with the hip. If the hip can't fully move, a lot of times, um, you know, you'll have some stiffness, you can have pain on the outside of the hip. This can produce pain on the outside of the knee when there's issues in the hip. Back, back can also create pain in the knee. Um, and so when we're noticing stiffness with like, you know, not moving and then getting up and starting to move, our first phase is let's look and see what the mobility looks like. Or all of a sudden we're having some um, pain and our knee kind of gives away a little bit or we, we step up and then it, it just kind of you know our body kind of wants to give away whether we feel something in the ankle on the hip or the knee these are all things that we have to look at from a mobility perspective when I look at specifically in the knee and you can't bend the knee all the way and you can't straighten the knee all the way or it kind of hurts to fully straighten that knee there's things in the front of the knee they're called fat pads they're in the very front of the knee so if you look at the knee you'll see these like things that kind of bulge out a little bit these are the fat pads these can get dislodged in the knee a little bit when we're doing repeated motions kneeling on the ground for long periods of time um, they can kind of you know there's a lot of different ways that, that create this to kind of get displaced and that creates an issue where there's a lot of knee stiffness, there can be um, pain or stiffness with like you get up and you like your knee kind of wants to give away. Those are common things that we see from a mobility um, perspective coming to that knee. So when we clear out all the mobility, then our next phase is looking at where's there things that might be tight because they've been protecting for a really long time or maybe you're using your muscles the wrong way and some muscles are being used a lot more than other muscles so you've always got to get into like why why is a tight tightness happening so common tightness around the knee one is you can have pain if i go and i say there's pain on the outside of my knee here we can look at tightness through here that can create some of that pain and you've got to release some of that sometimes you can have pain on the outside and it's coming from the hip and this has to be released through here but again, you've got to go, why is that happening? What are, where, what is the muscle imbalances that are creating some of this tightness? Are we shifting our weight more to the outside of our legs? So we're looking at all these things. Um, but those are common things that we look at when they're getting pain on the outside of the knee, when we're looking at like tightness that we feel. Another one, if it's on the inside, you won't notice it down here as much, but you'll feel it almost along the joint line. Very common to have this adductor. The muscles on the inside of the knee are common to have some issues and you can get that worked out and then you'll be like, oh wow, my knee feels a lot better. Again, you have to go into, well, why is that tightening up? What are you doing throughout the day? Um, how are you recruiting your muscles that are creating this imbalance where this side is tightening up? You know, or is it that there's weakness on this side? So there's a lot of things that we have to look at from there. Another common thing that we see is when people have, where they say like, oh, my knee's arthritic. One common re way reason that people feel that is one is that if you look at the, um, when I talked about the fat pads in the front where the knee doesn't fully bend, it doesn't fully extend, it kind of gives away. Those are common things that, you know, a lot of times doctors will say like, oh, it's just arthritis, but really you mobilize the knee and it's like two, three visits later, you're feeling amazing. So definitely get into someone if you're feeling like, oh, I'm gonna go down this total knee replacement route because they have research with total knee replacements where they went and put them into two different categories. These are people in line having total knee replacements. One category was the knee mobilization because the knee wasn't moving fully. So they're, they're gonna do these, these knee mobilizations. The second one was just general exercise. 
And of the people that were in the knee mobilizations, the ones that got through there, 60% of them were able to reduce to not have surgery because it was a joint issue that they could resolve that mimicked arthritis, but it really wasn't. It was really some of these fat pads or some degenerative things that kind of get stuck in the knee that you can kind of flush out. So other things that will mimic arthritis is when your muscles are super tight and degenerative all around the top part of the knee. Now you can go and do some soft tissue to work some of these things out, but a lot of times if you can get into someone that has like shockwave therapy, that's a machine, it's um, basically it, it produces sound waves to break up adhesions, scarring, anything like that, but also floods the area with blood flow. You'll start being able to get those muscles to kind of start reacting and having less pulling on the knee. And you will notice that, you're gonna, that your knee pain will start going away because now you can actually use your muscles um, in a way that it doesn't hurt because they aren't pulling on something that doesn't have a blood supply and that's more degenerative. So you can definitely get some help with that. Then we look at stability. So mobility first, tightness second. Where's the tightness on the knee? We talked about inside, outside, and around the knee are really common ones for tightness. The third one um, from that is now stability. Now we have to start working on getting the strength so we really will specifically test muscles in the adductor. We test muscles in the, the abductors, the hip rotators, internal rotators, external rotators. Um, we'll look at quad, we'll look at hamstring. Um, we look at these individually and then we start putting this together functionally. So we'll actually ask you to do some functional things that give you some problems so that we can use that as a baseline. So these are all different phases of, of what we look at on getting that knee pain to resolve because I'm here to tell you a lot, of, a lot of times when people are having knee pain and they're not really sure what it is or maybe they're showing some degenerative changes, there are a lot of things that we can do to help improve your symptoms to help get your muscles to fire again so that they can support the knee and not just pull on the knee. If you have a lot of weakness, those muscles, all these muscles come in and attach all around the knee. And so if there's weakness, then what happens, you know, what I describe it's kind of like a rubber band. You pull a rubber band apart. That's what the muscle does. It contracts and relaxes. Now take that muscle or that rubber band and let's tie some knots into it. It takes so much more effort uh, and pulling, you'll get pulling on the ends. You won't notice that you're tight or, um, or weak in an area. You'll just notice the pulling in the knee. And so by knowing like the knee locations, where things are, you will notice, you can basically go up from those areas and notice that, oh, there's tightness and there's probably weakness that we need to address to start getting everything to feel better. Another big thing that, it, that supports that knee so much are those hip rotators. Um, and what happens when we are doing squatting or anything like this, that knee wants to come in or you don't have a lot of knee stability, that actually starts in the hip. So if you look at like the knee, if this is the leg bone and this is the knee and our kneecap glides through here, our hips are up here. And so if we have weakness in the hips, it's gonna allow that leg bone to rotate, which creates issues in that knee and, and you know that patella, that kneecap, um, um, underside of it can get a little bit of irritated. So weakness can cause a lot of knee pain in, in those hips. So what, I'm gonna sum everything up. The first thing that we look at with, with mobility, or the first thing we look at for the knee is mobility. How does it move in the ankle, in the tip fib, in the knee joint, in the hip, in the back, because those all affects the knee and how we recruit our muscles. Then we look at soft tissue tightness around the knee to see if there's anything that's just been, that just has been shortened for whatever reason. Then we get into stability and the strengthening phase of it to really start working on getting things stronger so everything works together properly. And so the last thing, if you do have degenerative tissue and we're noticing like just, you know, you're, it's arthritis and you're just getting a lot of knee pain, man, if you do some shockwave around through this area on the top part of that knee, you're gonna get some amazing results to start increasing blood flow in that area and allow your body to start contracting those muscles without getting pulling on the knee. If you like what you've heard, we're gonna have other videos in the description um, on um, knee pain and, and different exercises and things that you can do. So we'll definitely take a look at the description and make sure you subscribe because we put out content all the time. And our whole goal is to help you avoid surgery, injections, and medications to get back to living your life.